Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are gonna be making some stuffed acorn squash that is going to make a really, really amazing holiday side, especially if you're looking for something a little brag worthy. And it's gonna be featuring Tandoori Glory and our Greek Freak blends. So our first step is gonna be prepping our acorn squash and then giving all of our aromatics a quick dice. For our acorn squash, you just wanna cut it right down the middle and then we're gonna be scooping out the insides. All right guys, now that you've got all the tedious stuff out of the way, we are gonna start cooking our onions. While those are cooking, I've got my oven preheated to about 350 degrees, and I'm gonna throw my squash in for about 10 minutes just to par bake them and speed up that time at the end. So we have cooked all of our aromatics, our onions, shallots, garlic, our meat, and our rice all mixed in. We're gonna remove this from the heat. We've got about a minute left on that squash in the oven. So we're gonna sprinkle in our chopped pistachios. We're gonna do a whole brick of goat cheese. If you don't like goat cheese, you can also do feta. Um, you could do Parmesan or mozzarella if you're not into soft cheeses at all. And then we're also gonna throw in just about We'll say a tablespoon of chopped mint and just stir that together. Sometimes helps to break up that log as much as you can and it'll start to melt with the leftover heat. Remember, you don't want these to be cooked. This is just to help your end cook time be faster. Now we get to stuff some squash. My biggest recommendation here is to do a small scoop in each one first and kind of build up your volume. This helps it so that your mixture is a little bit more evenly distributed and you don't end up with a super stuffed one and an understuffed one. For this recipe, acorn squash is perfect because you can eat the skin. Uh, you could also sub this for delicata squash, um, maybe a zucchini if we're in the summertime. Uh, butternut squash would be good, but you'd have to skin it. All right, so these are nice and stuffed, really nicely evenly distributed. You can do another sprinkle of salt on top of these. And then we are gonna pop them in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. And while they're in there, we're gonna make a quick sauce to drizzle over the top. So our squash are in the oven, and when they come out, I wanna drizzle them in a really creamy, yummy sauce that balances everything out. And we are gonna use Greek Freak to pair with that. So in a little squeeze tube or in a bowl, whatever you've got, we are gonna mix Greek Freak, some Greek yogurt, a little bit of honey, some salt, pepper, and olive oil. And then just give it a shake until it all mixes up. You can also add a little lemon um, or some other herbs, totally dependent on what kind of flavor you wanna have. Guys, these have been in here for about 22 minutes, I'd say. We had some larger squash. They are heavy, so do not try to be cool and take these out with one hand. You will drop them. All right, so we've got these out of the oven. To serve these, I would recommend a nice big baking dish or a big tray. We're gonna drizzle our sauce over the top pretty generously. And it's okay if it doesn't look pretty. That's kind of in these days, I right hear.
Thanks for hanging out today, guys. I really hope you try this recipe. It would be amazing side or even a main dish, don't tell. Um, I am so ready to dive in. Let's see what we got going on. That sauce is perfect to balance all up. That is amazing. I really hope you guys give this a go. Make sure to check out spiceology.com for all of your holiday needs and holiday recipes this year. Can't wait to see what you make. Make sure to tag us on social media.